Snow White Part 1, 3, 2, 1, action! Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a beautiful princess. Her skin was white as snow, her lips were red as roses, and her hair was black like the night. Her name was Snow White. Snow White, come here now. I'm playing with the little bunny. Hold a second. I said now. All right, I'm coming. Yes, mother. Your dad is traveling today overseas, and it's going to be a long time you won't see him. Is he? Oh, no. Father, father. Yes, my sweetie. What your mother said is true. India is far away, and it might take us a couple of months. Oh, Dad, I'm going to wish you. Please take me with you. Please, I'll be a good girl. Sweet Snow, it's not possible, but I promise you one thing. A gift? Yes, a special gift from the Far East. Oh, Daddy, please don't stay long. Snow White had a beautiful but bright stepmother, who was a witch. Every day, she stood in front of a magic mirror and asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? The mirror used to answer, You are, O oh queen. As the days went by, Snow White grew older and prettier, and her father wasn't home yet. Good morning, mother. Good morning, Snow White. Oh, mother, it's not pleasant to start such a wonderful day without dad. Am I not good enough for you? Oh, I was just saying it will be better with that. Good morning, my ladies. What would you like for breakfast? I'm so hungry. I take an omelette with and a bowl of salad and chocolate spread with hot slice of bread and... What? That's too much, too much. You'll get fat and ugly. Fat and ugly. That will be great. Okay, okay. Get her whatever she wants. For me, I'll take a glass of orange juice with some crackers. I'm on diet. As you wish, your majesty. One day, the stepmother asked the question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? But the mirror replied. You are beautiful, but Snow White is the fairest of them all. The jealous queen was so angry. What? This whitey thing is more beautiful than me? Guard, guard, come here quickly. She ordered Snow White to be taken to the forest and killed. Yes, Your Majesty. Take this whitey thing outside to a trip in the woods. A trip from which you will never come back. What? I'm afraid I don't get what you mean, Your Majesty. Kill her, you idiot, kill her. Or you'll never see your wife and your children again. As you wish, Your Majesty. Snowy, Snowy. Oh, hello. Come see my friend, this little bunny. How cute! You like animals, don't you? Oh, yes. Then come with me to have a walk in the woods. We will see a lot of animals there. Mother won't let me. Oh, no, don't worry. She already asked me to take you to a nice walk in the woods to breathe some fresh air. Fabulous. Let's go. Oh, that's really amazing. I've never been here before. Oh, butterflies. I love colorful butterflies. Now listen to me, Snow White. I'm really sorry, but I have to kill you. What? You're kidding, aren't you? But the guard took pity on Snow White. Your stepmother ordered me to do so, but I can't. Go, run away. What? Why? Why, why is she doing this to me? Where should I go now? I don't know. Keep walking. I must be back. I will tell her I kill you. The guard left Snow White deep in the forest and ran back to the palace. Snow White wandered through the forest alone. Oh my lord, I'm so scared. Oh my lord, help, help. Snow White finally saw a strange house in the middle of the wood. The house belonged to seven dwarfs.
What happened to you? The kind birds heard her sad story and said, And she is so wicked. Oh! And he took me to the forest. What? And she wanted to kill me. Oh my God! You can live with us, Snow White. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you. I can take care of you. You are welcome, Snow White. So every day when the dwarves went up into the, the forest to work, Snow White stayed back. In the meantime, the wicked stepmother, a girl, asked the mirror the question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? You still fair, but none to Snow White can compare. Deep within the forest glen, she stays with seven little men. What? Guard, guard! Yes, Your Majesty. Where is Snow White hiding? She did. You ordered me to call her, Your Majesty. Didn't you? Stop lying to me. Say the truth and I will let you in. Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. I, please believe me. So you lied to me, you filthy thing. Then you deserve to die. Huh. That damn girl is still alive. I'll go and kill her myself. The furious queen decided to go to the forest and kill Snow White. She disguised herself as an old woman selling apples, filled the basket with poisoned apples and went to the dwarf's house. The moment the queen left the palace, the king arrived. Hello there. Where is everyone? Your majesty, welcome back. What's going on here? Where are my daughter and my wife? Your wife has just left the palace and your daughter, your daughter has disappeared since you traveled. Disappeared? I must go and find out what happened. Oh my, who's that? Snow White was scared to open the door to strangers. Good morning. Do you want to buy some of these wonderful apples? They're very sweet and tasty. But the woman pleaded. Look how big and round and red they are. They are delicious. Okay. Snow White couldn't resist. She took an apple, but the minute she bit into the poisonous apple, she fell to the ground. The evil queen ran away laughing wickedly. <laughs> That's what you deserve, you whitey thing. Now I'm the fairest of them all. When the dwarf returned, they were shocked to see Snow White laying like she is dead. <laughs> oh, she's dead! Oh my god, really? Yes. Can't you see her? <laughs> she is dead. Oh dear, oh dear. What? Oh dear, Snow White. We must give her some honor. They put her in a glass case and sadly sat around her. <laughs> Just then, a prince rode by. He saw the beautiful Snow White in a case and fell in love with her. <laughs> oh, what an angelic face! But what happened? Why is she laying like this? Uh, she is dead, stunning and sweet. Hey, don't touch her. Shh. She doesn't look like she's dead. I'm sure she's sleeping. He leaned over and kissed her. At that moment, the evil witch's magic spell was broken as Snow White awoke. Allow me, young lady, to help you. Thank you, sir. What happened, wife? Oh, my sweet Snow, here are you. Thank God you're safe and sound. Oh, Father, Father, I'm glad you finally returned. What are you doing here? Who are these gentlemen? These are my friends, the dwarves, who saved me when the queen asked to kill me. And this man is... I'm the prince of Pennsylvania. Oh, he's, he's a prince. prince. He's, he's a perfect match. She was dead and he saved her. Your Majesty, it's... It's my honor to meet you and to meet your daughter. Yes! The prince saved the day! Shall we have a wedding party? 
Be blessed you to love birds. Bye, let's have a party. Yay! The dwarves were overjoyed and danced in glee. The prince and Snow White were married and, and lived happily ever after. Hi, my name is Lena, and I am the director and storyteller and the dwarf. Hi, my name is Marah, I'm the servant and the storyteller. Hi, my name is Lamar, I am the mirror, dwarf and storyteller. Hi, my name is Aline, I am the guard and storyteller and dwarf. Hi, my name is Janine and I am the queen. Hello, I am Rosie, I am the king and the dwarf. Hi, my name is Yusuf, I am the prince, a dwarf. Hi, my name is Nijen, I am Snow White. All right, Snow White drama. Bye. Stop lying to me, you filthy thing. No. Kill her myself. What an abandon it. What? Why? What? What? Why is? All right, thank God, Miss Hafza. A come. When? Alin. All right. <laughs>